Jay down. What forehead? <laughs> what forehead, Jada? Oh my gosh. This is legit how I want to look every day. This is how I want to look every day. The layage in this is impeccable. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jada and today I'm going to be reviewing a Superbs wig. I know you guys are like, eh, this is like the fourth, fifth one, but whatever. I actually do love this company. So relax. <laughs> Anyways, this wig is a 360 lace wig. It is 360 lace wig but it's a 13 by 4 if you get the drift um this is a wavy hair i've never tried their wavy hair so this is the first time i'm excited it's hd lace so we're getting to the bag it's it could be put in a ponytail that's what i love about 360 wigs even though i i have not done that the whole ponytail thing anyways i'm gonna jump into bleaching the knots because if you don't do this, it's a wrap like them things on the head of a Saudi. I'm using BW2 Bleach Weller Wella Developer in 40, and I'm just using a mixing container. Um, just when you're mixing the bleach and the developer, you want to go for like a yogurt texture. Um, I like a thicker consistency than a more runny consistency because when it's too runny, it will run through the knots and bleach a lot of the hair. Um, it will happen sometimes if it's thick, but it's easy to fix if it's not all over the hair. You guys will see in a minute. Anyways, I'll just mix it until I get a consistency that I like. And then I just put it on the lace. Pretty simple, guys. You see right there, it's it's not like falling off easily, but it's like you got to shake it a little. That's like yogurt consistency. So when bleaching the knot, it's pretty easy, guys. All you want to do is put a thin layer, not too thick, a thin layer to start off. Make sure that everything is even and make sure the lace is not bunchy and like you know make sure it's smooth and flat and you want to go a little bit in front of the hairline because sometimes you'll you'll bleach exactly in front of the hairline and it won't match up as you guys can see everything is covered and some of the hair is bleached but what I do when that happens is I take a little bit of box dye I mix it and then go over that in those little areas and then we're all good now I'm going to show you guys how I pluck. I don't usually do this, but a lot of people are like, girl, how do you pluck your wigs? You're missing content. You're not showing us the tea. Okay. I have videos of this. I don't go too in depth because I believe this is fairly easy, but all I do when I'm plucking the uh, hairline is I cut a little bit in the front and then I pluck the part that I parted so that I can have a more natural hairline going about an inch or two below the actual hairline you don't want it to just be plucked in the front as do you see how this part is a little bit thicker but this part you can you could tell like it looks like fresh perm like I just came out of the water that's what you're going for you don't want to over pluck and then it looks like you have bald spots guys also when you're plucking do not pull too hard I pulled too hard on this wig it's the first time this has ever happened to me guys but I pulled too hard and there were a lot of holes underneath the lace so please do not pluck too hard so that's it is pretty easy you know now I'm gonna be using my sister for this application because you know my head was a little bit caught up in the moment but I'm using her, you know, just putting a little edge control to lay her hair back, and then you put a wig cap on it. That's it for the first step. Pretty simple. So, thank God this wig was not too small for my sister's head. Uh, it fits perfectly, actually. The one thing that I would fix on this wig though is the hairline now uh, typically when you get wigs the hairline is always the same but as humans I have 15 widow widow's peak around my hairline and my sister also so it's like you got to kind of finesse when you're wearing a wig you either have to like pluck it to match your own hairline or work with what it already comes with which is what I'm going to do because I really don't have time to pluck 
and fit my hairline because it would look a mess but I'm gonna be using some foaming mousse to hold the hair back while I match it up and do my little stuff right now her head does look like a helmet head but I promise you it gets better okay guys you already know I'm gonna work my magic girl you already know don't even doubt you know I mean sometimes I don't even see the vision in the beginning but like I gotta remind myself like <laughs> I know what I'm doing I does this okay you guys have to have that attitude you does this anyways I'm cleaning the skin very important you always want to make sure that you get rid of any oil any makeup anything okay and then you go in and cut the lace around the ears. Okay, I always forget to do this before gluing the wig down. And I'm telling you guys, cutting around the air flaps before gluing it down makes a big difference. I'm pretty sure a lot of people already know this, but I'm just saying for those who probably don't remember, always cut the airline before you, around the ears before you glue it down. For this application, I'm also going to be using Insta Glue. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's pretty bomb. So I'm going to be using some of the primer before putting the glue down. Let's be real. I don't know if this really makes a difference, guys. But I'm just doing it because I have it. And I don't want to waste it. But it kind of does leave the skin a tiny bit dry. So I guess it's sucking the moisture out and, and making the surface pretty clean. And then I'm going in with this glue. This glue is not as thick as Bold Hold or Ghost Bond glue. So you want to be aware of that and move quickly. Um, make sure that the layer of glue is pretty thick, guys. Please. If you put a thin layer, as in like you just put like one line but it's very thin, it won't your your lace won't lay flat for a long time you want to make sure that the layers are thick and that you put multiple layers of glue so that it will last more than a day please so i put about two to three layers of this glue down on the middle the center part of her forehead I pulled the lace forward, I had her hold the sides, and then I pushed it in with the comb. This is the best way that I know how to do it, guys. This is, this will get your wig laying flat, okay, boo? Now, if your client is as good as mine, they will help you press this in. Like, my sister is pushing her forehead against the comb while I'm doing this. This is how much pressure we are putting on this lace right now the reason why i do the middle part of her hairline first and then the sides is because it's easier even for a beginner it's easier for you to kind of like match up the hairline and take your time to make sure everything is glued properly now if you put everything down all at once you have to rush like when you're putting that hairline down you have to rush and if it, if it hangs on to one side you have to like clean it up it's like it's a mess i mean i do it sometimes but Right now, I'm focusing on actually making this application as perfect as possible. So as you guys can see, you wait till it's completely clear and then you pull it down. As I was saying, the hairline is not completely my hairline. So I got to pull and make sure it lines up with where I, I put the glue in where I want it to go. I know a lot of people outline the hairline and I know you, some people are like, oh, you should just outline it because it's better. But I don't like doing that only because the outline never disappears. Like I always see the line after. So this is just my little way of doing it, guys. I hope this works for you, but this is the best way I can explain so now we have to put a headscarf on of paper wrap whatever you got girl put it on top of that lace you want to melt it in okay and if you want to add a little bit of heat and be extra girl be extra extra credit is a good thing okay now you want to put a headscarf on because not only will it help it melt in but it also help the edges to stay flat it will if you have edges going on it will help it to just stick to your face it just it makes a difference guys you want to do this step do not skip this step and just go on to cutting the lace this is this is my opinion though so if you want to be bold and do whatever you want do it but i just think that this step makes a big difference i actually put a headscarf on at least twice in any wig application So now is when you're going to cut the lace. So I typically do this after the headscarf. Now when I'm cutting the lace, it's easier to use a razor, to be honest. But I'm using my scissors, scissors today only because I'm that bold. <laughs> 
and using the scissors it's not as sharp so it's pretty dull and I just go as close to the hairline as possible try if you can now some of the parts that I glued down it did glue down more of the lace because when you're matching the hairlines and they don't fully match you got to kind of I want to cover my sister's hair at all costs so I'd rather cover her hairline with some a little bit of lace that's left over than to leave it out because it won't look right if you guys get what I'm saying so I'll have that lace laying over her hair and then I will go over that and put some baby hairs to cover it now as I said before I always put another hair headscarf on and then I remove it and wow that looks amazing yes a little bit of that lace is showing a tiny bit of cast but guess what boo guess what boo we're gonna fix that we're gonna fix that but guys you cannot tell us anything and we're not even done we are not even done but you still can't talk to us but anyways here's when i actually pull out a little bit of the baby hairs because we're about to finesse y'all thought that was finessing uh uh boo that was just the precursor we're about to finesse right now so of course i'm going in and i'm a little bit antsy you know i have to kind of plug kind of do whatever you know i i go over things even off camera guys that you don't see i i go over things like multiple times um right here is when i was going over the edges you know i'm not really feeling the whole swoop back thing we kind of look like megamind but we're gonna fix this okay we're gonna go actually do a side part which is not my sister's first choice she loves the middle part but here's when I go in with a paper wrap now the difference between a paper wrap and a headscarf paper wrap the they tend to make your hair a little bit more stiff a little bit more dry not dry in a bad way so if you put like foaming mousse on or edge a little bit of foaming mousse to your edges it will suck the moisture out and leave it as stiff as possible that it won't be like moving or crinkling it will actually keep the style flat and perfect that's why I like a paper wrap because girl when I'm when I tell you first of all let's get into this hair too like what when I tell you everything right now is just pure finesse boo i mean i have a phd in finesse come on let's talk about it and like look when we're cutting this off look at this oh, wow oh wow oh wow all right i'm gonna touch up right there like as i told you guys some things i do off camera so we're not done but i can still see the end of the tunnel if you guys get what i'm saying but y'all i'm not even gonna lie this wig this lace this sleigh this everything is giving me life it's giving me life what i mean can we talk about can we talk about it what lace can we talk about it we are looking at the same video, are we not? Because I'm not seeing the lace, so you cannot lie and tell me you're seeing something because I don't see it. I don't see it, boo. Put your glasses on, put your contacts in, because you're clearly, you're clearly lying to yourself if you can see the lace. Like, even my sister right now, she's like, what on earth? What sorcery? Because at this point, it's her hair yeah we're freaking lying like at this point now a little a little bit of the video we actually went into putting this in a ponytail and um my sister did not want to actually lose any kitchen hair and i'm not that great at doing like ponytails i've never done it and i mean i attempted to do it one time and it didn't work but i just want to show you guys like with the lace in the back you can put it in a ponytail if you wanted to that is an option this wig is very versatile like you can straighten it you can leave it curly you can wear it wet you could do anything you want with this wig the texture is amazing but look look we just slayed your life and guess what i'm gonna need y'all to give us a thumbs up just for that and i'm gonna need y'all to subscribe just for that okay so guys thank you so much for watching this video i know you guys enjoyed it i know you guys enjoyed it don't even lie to yourself but i would love it if you guys could give me a thumbs up if you guys could hit that subscribe button share it with a friend who's looking for a bomb wig and guess what I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh, this is so... Jada, this is so cute.